Hello guys, my name is Anton and today we're taking a look at my renovated van. I've done a big update. I built it for the first time one and a half years ago. Uh, now to this spring, I've just finished my second renovation and I'm so happy about it. And it's going to be so fun to show you what it ended up like. So very, very welcome. Let's take a look at the van. And oh, I almost forgot one thing. I really want to thank Lettermusen for sending me this jacket just out of nicety thank you it has been lovely i've used it a lot and i'm going to continue using it so big shout out for them for supporting me Here I lived two and a half months in my van. During that time I found a lot of ideas on how to improve the build and how to restructure it. So starting this winter I just tore it all out and started building from scratch pretty much. The only thing I kept was the bathroom slash shower. So that's what we have left and the rest is all brand new. And I must say I'm really happy about it and it's going to help me so much this climbing season, this running season because my living conditions are going to be so much better. The water is done, the electrical system is done, and pretty much almost everything is done. I've got some small tweaks, some small niceties I need to fix just to make it like stand out and look a bit more professional, so to speak. But other than that, it's pretty much done. It's ready to go. It's ready for me to live in it, sleep in it, cook in it, eat in it, shower in it, and just have a wonderful time. Uh, as we are coming into the spring, I'm going north this summer to, to climb and to run. I'm going to, to run the Tromsø Sky Race, which I've been looking forward for, to, for a couple of years. So it's going to be so nice to have this van, updated van. And I'm so happy to be able to show it around to you guys today. Uh, we are probably going to be an, doing an update video when I've fixed a few more things in the van. But other than that, I think, like, yeah, this is the most important... Uh, changes which I'm going to show you guys and uh, hopefully you're going to like it hopefully it will give you some ideas and if you're thinking about making your own van or building your own van or if you're having a van and want to get inspired by the others uh, you are very very welcome please ask me questions I'm not an expert this is just my second renovation of a van and uh, uh, but yeah, I'm really happy about it and I'm so happy that you are here with me to share it. So let's start over here. I'm thinking about how to like set this up in a nice way, but right now, uh, yeah, this is the back of the kitchen and uh, we have a small table here, which acts as a door, so it's really nice. You can take the out that top it up. There we go. And we've got the camping chair over here. And behind this we've got a water tank, which is easy to take out. We've got the water up to the, to the tap. And if I turn on the pump, we get running water. Okay, so we are in the storing compartments. And uh, yeah, this is one of the bags of all my climbing equipment. And uh, got some rope here as well. And if I just take this out, I'm going to build a sliding shelf over here. I've already put in the sliders here. Uh, so I'm going to build some kind of cabin here, which is going to be being able to slide out. But inside of this, I've got my water tank, my water system, like these kind of switches so I can turn it off everywhere. Uh, I can easily get into it and fill it up. And uh, I'm not going to shower a lot in this car, so I'm working with a 40, 40 liter tank, which I think is going to be sufficient for me. I think it's going to be enough for me for a week or so. The nice thing about only having 40 liters, it doesn't require that much space, which I'm happy about. So I can have other stuff in there. And on the other side, there is just a storage compartment. And uh, yeah, lots of climbing gear right now. This is not really sorted out. So getting into the car, I've got my swivel seat over here. Then we've got the sofa with the adjustable table. And on the, other, on the side of the kitchen, we just got some utensils here. We've got a frying pan and uh, just this storage container. And we've got this locker up here, 
which is open. We've also got lots of storage up here. So we got our kitchen over here, our two Primus heaters, gas, and here we got our storage compartments, magnet secured. Two of them, and they're not that well sorted yet. And yeah, the floor, it's about 60 wide over here, from this side to this side, making it so that the person can actually sleep here. Uh, and uh, earlier I had a couple of friends who slept on the floor in my car, and uh, I wanted to have that option in the future. So I uh, yeah, m made it like that this time too. And then we have the bed. It's about 130 centimeters uh, on this side and about 100 and I think it's 115 on, on the foot end. And then we got the window which I installed uh, a couple of months ago which I'm really happy about which is going to help a lot uh, during the summer because it's so nice to have. And then of course we have the shower which you, if you've seen my other videos probably have seen and the toilet in there. So I've opened up the sofa and in here you find all the electrics and the connections and my converter and things like that. And uh, yeah, as you see I have quite a lot of room left so I can actually add an additional battery if I feel like. And under the other pillow I've got a cooler. So uh, trying to use this uh, storage under the sofa as good as I can. And then down here we've got all the switches for the electrics and a USB port. So I can charge some. And on the other side over here we got our 230 volts electrical outlet. So I'm really happy about this update, it feels so good. And uh, yeah, I really like having a bit bigger bed. I uh, really like the new colors making it a bit brighter. and. Uh, yeah, I've learned a lot during this renovation, so it has been a, a really fun ride to work a bit more with the water system and to see that the pump that I bought actually works really well and uh, now I'm fairly sure that it's not gonna leak, but it was quite a lot of work during the installation. So one thing I really liked doing the update of the van is finding this laminate. Uh, and it's the first time working with laminate. It could be a bit tricky, but I think I got the hang of it pretty okay. Uh, and I think it just makes the finish look so much better. That you can make nice finishes, nice round corners with the plastic laminate. And uh, all you need pretty much is a heat gun and a knife. And then just work away. Yeah, I don't think I fucked this up. Uh, I actually think it went quite all right and I'm really happy about the finished product. So here you can see a rounded corner and I think it just adds a lot to the build. And also I added this small back panel to the kitchen, thought it looked quite good and uh, yeah just something to like finish it up to connect it to the rest of the van. So I hope you liked this video, it was really nice to show you all the differences, uh, what I've done to this van and I'm so happy about it, I'm gonna have a really nice summer in it and if you're out on the roads, if you're in Sweden, just give me a text on Instagram and maybe we'll meet up, it will be so nice to meet you and uh, yeah I hope you liked what I had to show you. If you have any questions just leave them in the comments below. If you like what you see please subscribe. I'm always so happy to find new subscri subscribers and I promise you I'm going to try to be better with the updates. Thank you so much for watching. It has been a pleasure. See you next time.